Hey everybody, it's your old pal Larry back from Monster Movie App with a weekly horror movie finds. That's right, we're live with a weekly horror movie finds. It's about fucking time, right? Bogged down with reviews. So uh, I got a little stack going here. Accumulated, uh, I've been doing a lot of conventions, so like uh, I haven't been hitting the thrift stores as much. But uh, I got some stuff. And I'll fucking show you. Right fucking now. Right over here. So, uh, just some fucking random shit. Vanessa! Hi, Mom! Um, I got this. You know, I must be a bad poser horror fan, right? Because I, <laughs> I had no idea this movie existed. I picked this movie up and I was like... Huh, it looks shitty. And, uh, you know, Walmart exclusive two-pack, whatever. Then I saw it was fucking directed by uh, Romero, and I was like, Romero did a movie called Bruiser? I guess, I mean, he did a lot of shit. Um, you know, this is one I'd, I've never seen, didn't know about it. Uh, I was trying to get this fucking security tape off. This is the first time this has ever happened. Uh, fucking ripping this off. Look at this shit. I must be getting strong in my old age. I just took a fucking huge chunk out of this thing. Ripping that fucking shit off. But, uh, yeah, you know, like, I gotta see it. It's fucking Romero, right? I know, his movies aren't all fucking winners. That's for sure. But, uh, you know. Whatever. Here's one that I had to get. Behoot. It's Behoot's. About, I don't know, I don't even know where to go with that. But it's, uh, it's a fucking, um, Bollywood movie, I guess. But it has English subtitles. Vanessa says she's never seen, never heard of it either. Yeah. It must be great. It must be one of, it must be his fucking masterpiece. Because fucking, <laughs> Todd! Todd, yo, fucking shit up. Yeah, I did, man. Fucking strong as shit. Um, yeah, that's never happened. Because you get those security things on there, and, like, if you try to peel them off gently, it'll leave, like, residue for fucking years on there. But if you just rip it off like a Band-Aid, it'll fucking come... That, that shit will take all the adhesive with it, and part of the case sometimes. Uh, been doing this for fucking decades to DVDs. Never had that happen. I think the DV was just, the case was just fucking weak and stupid. And, uh, well, hey, Todd, you ever hear of a fucking, uh, rem uh, hey, Todd or Uncle Baba, here's a fucking horror expert. Uncle Baba, were you aware that fucking Romero did a movie called Bruiser? And have you seen it? Both, question to both Todd and Uncle Baba. Anytime you're ready, just answer. Um, yeah, so, Behoot. It's a behoot horror, I guess. Um, it's it's directed by the great Ram Gopal Verna. I don't know. It had English subtitles. It was a dollar fifty, and uh, I jumped on it because I want Bollywood movies to be good. You know, like I've never seen one. Has anybody seen a good Bollywood movie? I've I keep giving them a shot. You know, like I'll pick them up cheaper. Whatever, find him online, and uh, and I'll fucking I'll keep trying. I've got some I've like or I've got some that are like in 3D and shit, and they're just like they're just not very good. I'm not even talking about the singing and dancing for fuck's sake. Like, of course I'm not gonna watch that, but like, goddamn, they're just not. They're just you know. Meh. Listen to this, everybody. You know what that sweet music is? The regular viewers know. Every time I do this, my wiener gets a little harder. I better stop. Um, it's a clip case. Or a snap case, depending on where you live. Of Logan's Run. Which uh, I actually watched for the first time. Not that long ago. Maybe a couple months ago. I have it on VHS. It's alright. You know, sci-fi. 
Farrah Fawcett Majors in it. Back with the big fucking hair. Look how giant that hair is. Like, compared to her fucking little head. It's like fucking ten times the size of her fucking head. Whatever. She was hot back in the day. I had the Farrah Fawcett poster on my wall. Just like everybody. The fucking red bathing suit. And I was a kid. It was required in the 70s. Todd says, Bruiser is awesome. Oh, so you've seen Bruiser. Did you know it was a Romero movie? <laughs> Probably. I'm assuming, but like, how do I not know that that's a fucking Romero movie? Dan's here. Dan, have you seen the movie Bruiser by George Romero? Directed by George Romero. We're having a quiz today because I fucking feel stupid that I didn't know it was a Romero movie. I'll still feel stupid, even if everybody says they hadn't seen it, but fucking whatever. A little last, maybe? Now, I was going to look this up, so I had the translation, and I could look all smart on here, and I forgot. <laughs> I looked it up in the store. So, it's like, still sealed. Um, it's got the euro price on it. You can see the euro price there. And uh, I found it in, like, some shitty fucking thrift store or, like, flea market deal. Oh, we got, we got fucking people here. Uh, Reba Uncle Baba chimes in and he says, I was not aware until I found a copy a couple years ago, watched it, but I don't really remember it. That means it wasn't very good. Uh, Swearwolf says, Swe hello, Swearwolf. Uh, Logan's Run Rules. Yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, I got the hot nurse... Oh, it's got the hot nurse from American Werewolf in London. There you go. One of your people, Baba. American Werewolf in London fan. And Dan says, uh, I've not seen Bruiser. Well, there you go. Should I be showing this? Is that even a nipple? That's like, that's like the darkest of areolas right there, I think. It might be part of the fucking top. I'm not sure. So anyway, I found this and I was like, what the fuck is this? Look at all the artwork is fucking cool. Looks like it's in black and white. And I looked this up and it uh, translates Italian and uh, it was all about horror. This was like, uh, like stab my cauldron, my hot cauldron of death or something like that. Um, and the bottom also... Uh, that's, I think, insanguinata, that's like, uh, blood, like, uh, you can translate it at home, but it's, I, I confirmed before I bought it that it was indeed a horror comic book from Italy. Uh, thought it was the best find ever, got it for a dollar, and looked it up on eBay, and nobody gives a shit, except for me, they're fucking, they're like, you can get them for like, two bucks, 99 Starting bid, 99 cents with free shipping. Um, this is kind of cool. I'm going to sell this. I'm not a fucking child. But, uh, you know, the Gargoyles ca cartoon was actually pretty cool. I watched I watched it back in the day. Uh, but, like, I found this activity book at, uh, at a thrift store last weekend. And I was like, this is pretty, pretty fucking cool. But, you know, it's going to be just fucking full of some little retard brat's fucking scrawlings. You know, just like some little mongoloid fucking coloring in the crossword puzzle because he doesn't know any better. Um, it's completely undone. No fucking, no tears, no fucking pages missing, which you would expect. Um, just straight gargoyles fucking fun that I'm going to put on eBay. Some asshole's got it on eBay for like $17, I think, right now. I'll go a lot cheaper than that. <laughs> it cost me two bucks, I think. Two dollar? Uh, we're going to do a little electronics testing. Uh, this was a thrift store in fucking Charlotte, North Carolina, everybody. That uh, We went up there for a convention and uh, went out to breakfast. And uh, I surprised my wife, mom, by mapping a thrift a gigantic, like, super thrift store. <laughs> that was nearby and uh we just sh i just pulled in the parking lot and i was like how did we get here and we went in and i found something i way overpaid for this fucking thing lots of regrets on my part 
There was nothing else there. Should where how where how how should I do this? Let's do this. Um, this is a fucking. I guess I could pull out the box too. You know what I'm saying? I, I left the price tag on as a fucking as a badge of shame. It's my scarlet letter. I paid six eighty for this fucking thing. Right, what's what is wrong with me? I was on vacation. I was like fucking riding the high. I guess I don't know. Like it was dumb. But like yeah, I fucking bought it for six eighty in the box. Um, I put that light bulb in there. I haven't even turned it on. It's hollow inside. You can stick your thumb in its mouth and call it a dirty little whore if you want. Or whatever. Um, but yeah, it's hollow inside. And uh, we're going to turn it on right here with my filthy little thumb and see what happens. Five, four, no. Oh, and it works. It actually looks a lot cooler here than it does on this camera. It's fucking, that light bulb's way redder. But uh, if you put like a flicker bulb in there, it'd be pretty cool, I think. But look at all the fucking badass ones you can get that I didn't fucking find. I mean, this is like, it's like 1999, I think this was released. But like, this is straight like pothead fucking 70s lights, isn't it? Look at this. Uh, uh, there's there's the fucking money shot. The Grim Reaper. I didn't get that. Runner up, I guess. The fucking Sam Skull. Whatever the fuck that is. Uh, then I guess I would take the Dracula, which I got. And uh, the rest of these are fucking gay. I don't like them at all. They can fucking go to hell. If I wouldn't have bought any of them. But like, what a pothead thing. Like, you're a fucking... You're like 15 years old. Fucking smoking weed in your bedroom. And you got one of these... With a black light in it. You know. Those were the days. But yeah, that's cool. I don't know. I might sell it, to be honest with you. What the fuck am I going to do with it? I mean, I, I think I, I, I have an area I could put it in. Maybe I'll keep it. It's kind of cool. Retro. Hey, everybody. What are we doing? Hey, I got more stuff. So, uh, I went to another convention, uh, right here in Florida, first year convention, uh, called Phantasm, um, went there last minute, just for, we were gonna just go for a couple days, ended up spending the fucking, <laughs> the whole weekend there, and, uh, I'm gonna do a review of that next week, and show you all the shit I got there, but one of the vendors is from my, uh, my home area here. And, uh, he owns a comic book store and he was getting rid of his entire collection of movies. Because his wife said so. Sad. But, uh, he was just like, I gotta get rid of these. He, so he, he bought a vendor table and fucking brought in his collection of probably fucking 5,000 movies. Uh, most, mostly 99.9% .9 DVDs. But some good shit. Wait till you see. And he was just like... I, th I think they were five bucks each or fucking uh, five for 20. I think they were five for 20 if you got 20. So I dropped like 60 bucks, man. Stacks of fucking DVDs. We'll do that next week. So uh, to make my story shorter, uh, I was like, hey, you got any VHS you're getting rid of <laughs> that your wife doesn't want you to have? And uh, he was like, I'm going to turn off the fucking... Well, let's leave it on. Fuck it. Um, and he was like, yeah, I was going to bring them, but I didn't think anybody would buy them. And I was like, <laughs> dude, I'll buy them from you. How many you got? Where fucking, where are they? Let's, can we drive there now? And he was like, uh, well, you know, like I own the comic book store. Like I am me. Um, and I'll send you some pictures. Sent me some pictures. And uh, he was like, i some fucking cool shit so let's fucking show it we negotiated a deal i went to his comic book store and picked it up uh this is a fucking lightning video version of fucking toxic avenger uh i hate fucking toxic avenger and most trauma movies but uh i will sell that we got uh basket case two x rental uh pretty good shape not bad and uh, I'm going to sell that, too, because I like Basket Case 1, but I don't like the sequels. 
Basket case three. Somebody fucking... Is that an autograph? Something. It looks like something. Baker. Greg Baker? Is he in this movie? I don't know. It's definitely not Hen Lauder. <laughs> it's way too fucking short for that. Anyway, somebody wrote their fucking name on there. Looks like Greg Baker, I would guess. Um, you know, so uh, I'm going to sell these in a fucking lot. Basket case two and three. People like that fucking shit. Uh, these are just like the original fucking Friday the 13th VHS releases. Um, not a huge fan of the sequel. I love the first one, but the, the sequels, you know, whatever. They're fucking kind of pretty dumb. So uh, I collect these. I'll collect these uh, these original releases and then just sell them in a fucking lot. And people love that shit. It'll sell in five seconds. Little Full Moon, Horror Vision. Uh, this movie I bought to watch because I've never fucking seen it. And uh, there's a poss a ninety nine point nine percent chance it sucks. And I might be surprised, but probably not. So there's that. What else we got here? This one's completely tore up. Metal Storm. Uh, this is fucking devastated. All the tapes are nice. Even though, like, I mean, look at that. Somebody took a shit on this one. That must mean it's bad. Somebody fucking took the time to shit on this. Um, Swearwolf says, does he have any good uh, werewolf VHS? Mm, no, I don't. I don't remember seeing any. Uh, Uncle Baba chimes in and says Greg Baker did the effects in Basket Case Three. He lives in Orlando in the Orlando area, so the guy probably got it signed. Holy fuck, Bob! You are a wealth of fucking useless information. That's fucking amazing. That's fucking crazy. Well, the price just went up on that one <laughs> by a lot. Signed by effects master, Greg Baker. That one I will, that's, see, now I was going to sell those together, and now I'm selling that one separately. I have no certificate of authenticity. <laughs> Bob, can you sign a letter for me and say that that's a real signature? We'll use that. So, uh, Metal Storm, I've never seen this movie. It looks pretty fucking funky. You know, I may have seen it, but just destroyed. Uh, Martin. Canon. HBO Canon release. Uh, I have a really nice, um, I guess it's an HBO or EMI uh, hard case of this. And the tape was all moldy and I cleaned it. Uh, I'm hoping, since this box is all fucked up. I'm hoping, because the tape is good, that I that the tapes are the same and I can just kind of switch them out, and then uh, probably sell the other like this slipcover version. Hey, this is a Romero movie. Did you know that? I knew that. I knew this is a fucking George Romero movie, not called Bruiser. Uh, Mario Bava. By far the most influential horror director of all time. And uh, I've never seen this movie. I actually have a, this exact VHS, but it's still shrink-wrapped. And I just never had the heart to open it. And uh, I, have it, I have it on fucking this movie on DVD and a box set and shit. Just never got around to it. I think it's actually in my watch pile uh, above the surround sound that I stacked up there. But uh, now I can watch it on VHS. The way the baby Jesus intended us to fucking see it. Wow. This is a... Yeah. This is an Anchor Bay Video Treasures. Which is not fucking awesome. Look at look how generic. Anchor Bay used to do like kind of just plain generic fucking labels on their VHS. Like they would... They would put a lot of effort into it, and then you'd open it up like a fucking one of those hard clamshells, and you'd open it up and see fucking this, and you're just like, 
fi- like you gotta finish it. You didn't finish it. You fucking started out really good, and never finished. So yeah, it's got they got like fucking weak labels on them. What's everybody saying? Bob's laughing. Martin VHS Bob says, "Fuck yeah, dude." Yeah, it's pretty cool. I paid up for these a little bit. Um, it's tough. Like, I don't know what to fuck. Like, I pay like 25 or less cents starting at like, I don't know, maybe like, what, 15 cents up to a dollar on average for VHS. Uh, I very rarely pay above that if I can help it. And, um, you know, this was like a fucking Facebook marketplace or uh, instant messenger um, negotiation back and forth. And I'm just like trying to not insult the guy, but I didn't want to pay a lot either. So, like, I think I I paid like 20 bucks for 11 tapes, I think, which is great. It's way more than I would normally pay, but most of it I was going to sell. So, like, I'm going to make... Not even going to say, but look this one up sometime. Tetsusu. Tetsu. Oh, the Iron Man. Um, I watched this with my buddy Aunt Dimitri, Uncle Baba's nephew, uh, for the first time when we were doing like an Asian horror, all Asian horror weekend and f- and Asian horror and Asian food. That was tough. By the fucking by the last day, it was like, man, I don't want any more Asian food. But um, I hated this movie. Fucking hated it. Like I wanted to fucking kill myself. It's so art house and fucking boring and nonsensical. It's like everything that I fucking would just hate in art house fucking horror. Um, but this VHS this is the first one I saw when he sent me the pictures, and I was like, bingo! <laughs> if I can get that for a fucking good price. I know. It sells for fucking fat money. Uh, and the tape's in really nice shape. So is the box. It's by far the nicest one out of all of them. And uh, and there you go. Hey, that's my weekly horror movie finds for all you assholes. Anybody else say anything? Uh, Swearwolf says that movie is pretty disturbing. They made a sequel to it also. Yeah. You can have that. I barely made it through the first one. I hate that. I hate that kind of art house fucking boring. (laughs) Or you're just like, I... Even the writer-director didn't know what the fuck he was saying. Like, I don't give a shit. I want to sit down with this motherfucker and have him explain what what this fucking storyline is. He's like, hey, this would be a good fucking scene if I just did this random bullshit and fucking pretended it meant something. I know it doesn't. Who are you trying to fool? Not me. Hey, everybody, thanks for stopping by. Baba and Swearwolf and Todd and Dan and Mom and Vanessa and Todd and Dan and Mom and Vanessa and Swearwolf. Uh, Hey, I hope all you guys have a fucking great weekend. And until I see all you dickweeds next time, as always, get the fuck out of my house. Bye.